Well, hello there and happy Motivational Monday to all of my Geminis, all of my twins. This is Queen Amura coming to you with your Motivational Monday video, Geminis. Let's get into your reading. So if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, I am talking to you, 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 and you. Yes, let's get into your reading, Geminis. Let's see what these cards have to say to keep you motivated. Mercury enters Taurus on today. If it's Monday where you are, like where I am, it may be Tuesday in other places. Tuesday, Mars enters Aries. Yes, so if you feel extra fiery, extra spicy about getting, um, creating the life that you know you deserve, Gemini, that's the reason why. Yes, yes, yes. So that may mean when you're making some changes, Gemini, that may mean some people around you aren't too happy. But remember, this is all about you. So let's see what these cards have to say. Let's see what these cards have to say. Okay, some things are coming back around full circle for you. I love it, love it, love it. Let's see what these cards have to say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we have the world card. We also have the Knight of Wands. So you make sure you can see and see. Uh-huh. We also have the High Priestess. That's right. This is your Major Arcana here. Uh-huh. So your intuition is extremely heightened right now, right? You're feeling extra sensitive right now. And I mean that in a good way, feeling extra sensitive right now. Um, you have the Six of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Uh-huh. See, make sure you can get in there. Make sure it's not blurred. And then we have the Six of Swords. Yep. All right. Let's talk about it. Your, your sensitivity level is extremely heightened right now. Somebody is really sensitive to all energies around them. And when I use sensitivity, I mean that in the positive way. I don't mean where somebody may have called you sensitive and a crybaby and, you know, and extra sappy and all those things, right? That sensitivity for you is taking you all the way back to childlike faith and being in a posture of gratitude for having the strength to sail away from the depth of emotions that you had about something. This is where somebody is creating the life they know that they deserve. And so you, what do you have to do? You have to leave some things behind. You see your ancestors are leading you out of a situation where you may have felt deeply disappointed, but you're also grateful. Like I said before, you're in a posture of gratitude for the strength to be able to leave something behind and somebody is really just operating in childlike faith, like really taking it back to the basics. Like if source did it before, I know source can do it again. So right now getting negative energy out of your space is extremely important, Gemini. And I see you all doing all you can to get the negative energy out of the space. Like I said, somebody is clapping their hands. Somebody may have a tambourine. Somebody may be beating on a drum, using a broom to sweep all that negative energy out of your physical house and your spiritual house. Somebody may be lighting sage. Somebody may be listening to high vibrational music. You get the point at this point, right? But things are coming back around full circle. So your primary focus right now is your long-term goals, your long-term ambitions, uh, your money, right? That's what you're focused on right now. So I love it, love it, love it for you, Gemini. That's right. Stay focused. So like I said, if you're feeling extra hot or when I say hot, I mean like, like a flame has been lit up under you to keep you motivated to move, continue moving forward, to create the life that you know you deserve, where it's peace and quiet and things that money can buy, kudos to you. That's what I'm seeing for somebody. Kudos to you. If you have kids, Gemini, Look at the look at the faith that your kids have. They never are worried about whether there's food in the refrigerator. They're not worried about if there's a roof over their head. They don't have a care in the world. And that's the that's the place you're trying to get to right now. It's just being in complete and total peace. I'm looking at perfect alignment with your money. Three of Pentacles, right? I'm seeing perfect alignment for you. Whether you're leaving a job or you're on a job, I'm seeing things in alignment when it comes to your money, right? So the energy of money is in alignment for you. So this is, again, even though Mercury is retrograde in Gemini, you still want to speak some things into existence. And as things are happening for you every day unfolding, this being in the posture of gratitude is going to help you 
help things continue, good things continue being released to you. Yes, I love it. And the fact that you're such a highly adaptable sign and you're such a very smart sign um, and a funny sign, I can see you keeping yourself entertained with your sense of humor. You don't have a problem making friends. Um, energies are attracted to you. So just keep all the good energy around you, right? Five of pentacles. Yep. This is the only thing that could keep you in front of a vault where you're disrupting your money is your emotions, where you feel so deeply disappointed that you had to leave something behind that you don't want to get out of bed, that you just don't want to, um, that you don't feel like you have that fire in you. You're allowing your emotions to just, um, to put out the flame within you, right? So it's a good thing that Mars enters Aries because Mars is, um, the planet of your energy, your libido, your will, your sexual desires, your romantic attraction, your creative drive. You don't want your emotions to drown out your creative drive, your, your, cre um, your, um, the, the, um, your energy, your romantic attractions. You don't want your emotions like you know, you're so deeply emotionally drained. Remember your ancestors are all around you because that could have a downward spiral effect where it's affecting an enormous amount of money for you, Gemini. So again, stay focused. Be very careful about the energies you're allowing in your space right now. That's going to be, that's really what's key, right? And your intuition is going to tell you exactly what to avoid, who and what to avoid. It's going to tell you who and what to avoid to so stay focused, like literally stay laser focused. All right. So let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Yeah. There's just a lot at stake here, right? The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Somebody could easily be, you know, could there, could there have been a Capricorn somewhere in the picture? You know, um, you may even be like disappointed that, you know, things are going well for you in your life and that somebody may have died, you know, or somebody or a situation may have died like a marriage. Somebody may have been physically laid to rest. Something could something that's deeply attached to your emotions. Like I said, a relationship may have ended where you may be deeply disappointed. You may have some memories of a loved one where things are riding high for you. You're accomplishing things, but your somebody is no longer alive. They're no longer in your life. Right. So, yeah, you got to do what's best for you, which is take some time for you during this during this time. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's see what these cards have to say. Let's see what these cards have to say. Gemini make an altar. Yeah, make an altar. This is where you want to talk to your ancestors. You want to talk to your loved ones who are no longer in this realm. You want to let them know, you know, you want to, you know, create a space for them to come in and comfort you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, if necessary. Um, yeah, but try your hardest to get that fire up under you, to get that negative energy out of your space. I don't know if you have a burning bowl. This is what a burning bowl looks like. This is one example of what a burning bowl looks like. And if you don't have a burning bowl, you can write down the name and the energy attached to something that just kind of keeps you in this space and release it into the universe. Like for instance, you could write down the word depression or like deeply blue or sorrow or sadness or um, mental exhaustion, whatever is keeping you in front of this vault and not even seeing that you have the key to open this vault. Like your head, see how the people's heads are down. They don't even see they're walking past their own vault, right? Yeah. Your divine feminine energy, but, uh, I'm sorry, your divine masculine energy, but money is trying to nurture you, right? But if you're too, if your head is down, like in the dumps and just feeling kind of sad about something, you're going to miss out on opportunities where you could be, you know, again, contributing to your legacy wealth, right? Which is for the community, your children, if you have children, 
Um, so you want to try your hardest. And if it gets to a place where um, it's just so deep, you feel like you just can't get through it, you may want to talk to somebody. Number two, I am diplomatic. You have great talent for finding solutions. That's right. So this is where you want to find a solution. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of this, of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. That's right. This is a person whose energy is completely balanced out. Your divine masculine to your divine feminine. So during this time, um, this is going to be key. Being in the posture of gratitude, you may be emotionally wounded, which could offend, which could, which could um, affect, excuse me, your money, but you also want to replace every time you want to get sad, replace it with something that you're grateful for, Gemini, whatever it is that you're grateful for. Like for instance, you may not like your job or you may not like the, the fact that a situation has ended. Something you can be grateful for is that I woke up today. I had another opportunity to set those intentions. I mean, no matter how simple it seems, find the silver lining in it so that you're continuously looking up and seeing opportunities coming your way. You don't want any missed opportunities. Again, because it's bigger than just you. You're affecting the community with your money, creating jobs for people. Your kids, if you have them, are depending on you. The kids in the community are depending on you, right? The world at large is depending on you. So again, I want you to, looking at your cards, find something to nurture yourselves, even if it means I got to just shut my phone down and I got to focus on me just to keep make sure that I'm in a good head space. But this is what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. Again, happy Motivational Monday. Use your intuition. It's not going to fail you. This is where you're balancing out. You're diplomatic with your own situation. You're seeing all sides of yourself and you're embracing it. That is what I see for you. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay. Bye.